Hi, Kirby1 here, and this is your Daily Dose of Dominions. Can't think of any intro filler here, so we'll just jump right in. Oh wait, I did think of one. So, I remembered last video I said that ogres are undisciplined. They are not. Ogres are actually really cool. Uh, with my pretender, I could be getting 5 plus 1 per level above the spell level, which is 11, and so that's for 10 earth gems, about a little less than one ogre per earth gem, and that's permanent, so it's actually better than getting a earth elemental per battle. Uh, situationally, I went with the earth elementals when I could, but the uh, ogres wouldn't have been a bad idea, I think. And maybe I should use them more. Alright, let's see. Aha! Uh -huh. So we got another pretender proclamation. This is also before the uh, new pretender declaration screen that you got, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, some of the people are going to be declaring profits with their slow to recruit guys that they wanted to get later on in the game. So we've got Ur also in the game. And then the last guy is Niflheim. He um, will probably be getting his pretender out soon. Okay, Conjuration, got that researched. And this is my next expansion. Losing some more monkeys. Uh, and none of my important people. We don't need to watch that. I probably won't watch all the battles, especially not the ones that are just expansion, especially when I don't lose anyone that I actually care about, which will probably be very rarely because they are quite destructive. And I am already moving out with my second expansion force. Uh, he's going to search, like I said. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is actually a farmland and mountains, so I don't know which one is going to uh, trump the other in terms of magic sites. Will it be more magic sites? Will it be fewer magic sites? Or will it be just kind of in the middle? I mean, I find out, but I don't know. I don't remember off the top of my head. I don't think this winds up being a huge gem income province for me. But yeah, um, I think I had taken a look at this guy and said, you are being wasted sitting in my capital researching so I'm going to send you out with just five guys. Holy, uh, a divine blessing you. Actually, no. So I chose blessing because blessing is a casting time 100%. And divine blessing is actually casting time 125%. So it would be, let me see how I uh, set them up. So he's here and they're there. Um, I might, that might have just been a typo. I think I did that actually incorrectly because normally when I do blessing instead of divine blessing, I stick them like right in the middle so that he'll get all of them. Um, but he's going to do a blessing and then attack rear. So I guess he was just going to bless himself maybe and then Holy Avenger in case he gets hit. And because he can, because he's Holy 3. Um, and being Holy 3 also was super awesome. I was like, oh, I can just claim all the thrones I want with him instead of having to wait for Siddhas or my prophet. So he turned out to be pretty cool to have in addition to my monolith who doesn't move a whole lot. Teleport, though, actually is only Thaumaturgy... Yeah, Thaumaturgy 3. So I could get that really quickly. Um... If I needed to, or if I felt like I needed to. But again, you have to have a lab in the province in order to teleport out, so limited usefulness right now. So I'm still just doing Conjuration 2, 3, then Thaumaturgy, then Conjuration 4. Okay, he's still going to preach because obviously I don't have enough. So, like I said, I'm going to expand up and around, um, and down and around, and oh, hey, look. I found Helheim. 
Um, they're the first people I saw on the map, but I actually didn't meet them or send a meeting letter until much later. What I would do is when I bumped, well, not bumped, but when I my borders bordered another player, like if I were, if I had taken this province and he was there, if we didn't actually bump, if we just kind of shared borders and see each other then, um, I would send a message, just a text message, and then a gem um, to say, hey, non-aggression pack, please. But in a more um, thematic way, I wound up being pretty like narrative-driven, Hindu-style, Krishna Esque, and I was actually <laughs> like googling all of these Hindi sayings and war cries and greetings and stuff like that. So I learned a little bit about that. That was pretty cool. Most of my default greeting was just namaste and whatnot. But um, yeah, I didn't actually border him. I just saw him. So I thought I would just scout him a little bit more before sending him a message saying that I know where he is. Because uh, I, did a, I did look a little bit at the pretenders and see what their um, titles are. And he's got Master of the Oceans and Turner of the Flood. So, surprise of surprise, he's probably got... Uh, enough water magic to do a quickness bless. So I was not super excited to be facing up against that, even though I've got magic weapons, which I'm pretty sure negates Grilamor, I think. I don't actually know. Magic weapons are kind of confusing to me um, what they actually do. I think really they just kind of negate certain buffs like mist form or ethereal or whatnot, but I don't actually know. I couldn't find out exactly what they do if they like actually do more damage or whatnot in the manual. It was slightly, slightly confusing to read um, just on the matter of magic weapons. Like for example, this guy, his, tu his tusks or his trunk does pierce damage, blunt damage, and magic damage. And what I read was that it every time it attacks, it does one of those one of those two, the blunt or the pierce. And then maybe it also does magic damage. Um, also, number of attacks, three. So that's really cool. Uh, plus he's trampling. So yeah, this guy's awesome. Um, and he, I make good use of him. And... Uh, so, yeah, anyways, that's pretty much all for this turn. Obviously, the first couple of turns, Aramor's going to get uh, mercenaries. First couple of turns is just going to be expansion and meeting people. And this game was heavy in the diplomacy in terms of just meeting people and not fighting, I guess, if that's diplomacy, at least early on. And then it gets really crazy. So... Hopefully you guys will be patient with that, seeing as I'm only doing one turn a night. Um, but I don't think it'll take that long to get exciting. Uh, and that's pretty much all. So we're going to go down this way, up that way, site search, site search. Oh, who am I recruiting? Oh, just another guru. Okay. Yep, that's all for tonight. Okay, see you guys tomorrow.